Hi guys, uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel Sell Victoria. I hope that uh, those voids I feel with the uh, thick and resin is cured right now after a couple of days and uh, let's see what we have over here. Uh, yeah, this uh, <laughs> I cannot see any difference uh, between the previous uh, version <laughs> and this edition. So, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna cut this. Uh, extra wisps and uh, feel, uh, remove the panels and uh, fill uh, this little void. I hope this uh, will stay in this form right now, but uh, we'll see. Well, I just uh, removed this clamp and it actually trying to go back again so I probably need to put this uh, the fill, fill the gap the resin and uh, assemble it again to keep it in this form yeah that's fine yeah the starboard side is same story that's okay no big deal to do this and uh, fixed everything and lay down the glass and uh, fill the voids on the starboard side on the port side and everything is flat right now so you'll see uh, I will let it uh, completely cure it and yeah uh, keep going <laughs> what to say looks okay well I've got a challenge here how to finish uh, this and uh, forward of the cabinet and I'm still uh, leaning to the idea to make let's say 90 degrees to the side like this and draw the line and cut the piece and ended up with the whatever angle uh, will be in the, this uh, front edge and make it just smooth right yeah from the beginning I thought I made just uh, sort of like angle but What's the real reason for that? I don't know. I'm still thinking. I still think maybe I can make a bunch of shells, but that's... I can do aftermath. Well, it's kind of a challenge. Well, I think uh, lifetime of this jig is over and I'm gonna build another jig from it. Just to make a template or maybe uh, take a shape of uh, this opening from here. And yeah, I think it's best best offer for now.
uh, in place. Uh, fits like a glove. All the shapes all around. So I'm pretty happy with those about this. And um, next step, I believe I will do some uh, mock, mock around the the opening for the doors actually because well I need to figure it out anyway. And once I have access to through the side, at least I can see how high is the ceiling is. <laughs> well, uh, the other thing I am planning to do is just a backup plate. So I believe I will need to build one uh, plate for each side uh, on the back. First of all, when the door is closing, I need some kind of like guard for the uh, holding it in place. And the second, when I cut the opening, this whole structure will be uh, weakened pretty much and I need some sort of backup in back backup of uh, this system so I think that's what I'm going to do right now Next day, it's all cured, so let's trim it out. Uh, 
it's uh, in place, uh, fits like a glove, all the shapes all around, so I'm pretty happy with those, about this, and um, next step I believe I will do some uh, mock, mock around the, the opening for the doors actually, because, well, I need to figure it out anyway, and once I have access to, through the side at least I can see where, how high is the ceiling is. <laughs> well, uh, the other thing I have planning to do is just a backup plate. So I believe I will need to build one uh, plate for each side uh, on the back. First of all, when the door is closing, I need some kind of like guard for the uh, holding it in place. And the second, when I cut the opening, this whole structure will be uh, weakened pretty much. And I need some sort of backup in back backup of uh, the system. So. I think that's what I'm going to do right now. So I attached the door I have, it's a 12 by 36 inch. And I don't know, I think it's uh, quite uh, too high actually, the 12, 12 inch. So this thing you see that I don't have any meat uh, to attach to the ceiling. And also on the lower side, I have not much, uh, um, height uh, to keep uh, vertical motions kind of so I would prefer make it a little bit uh, higher the lower lip and uh, also a little bit uh, uh, bigger vertical side of that uh, opening in this case that uh, I will have some sort of like you know structural strength to this uh, box so maybe I, I think maybe I can make sort of like maybe 11 inch, uh, maybe, you know what, it might, I might just go for 10 inch. 10 inch will be kind of in the middle, middle point I would say. There will be a big opening and still a lot of strength left over. What is it, 10 inch, 25.5 uh, centimeters. Well, and the uh, length is just limited by, uh, I would say, one side here so when I open I don't want to attach uh, uh, this uh, uh, wall the trimming you see this this is done by by the door from uh, all the, the cabinet so I want to offset from here maybe two, two three inches and make opening right here and from the ball side I have I, I don't have a limitation actually but I might just left some, I don't know, two, two, three inches as well to have some sort of uh, communications over there. Like, let's say I want to make some like, charger or whatever, like, wires, maybe lights or so on. So I might uh, um, do some something like that on the, that side. So it's going to be, let's say, minus three. 44 minus 6, it's uh, going to be 30, 38, you know? so 38 inches is like this, uh, maybe 3 feet, I don't know, okay, I, I have to think about it still. are labeled right now so I want to cut it through and I also talked to my crew and they said no sharp edges only uh, curved ones so there is another challenge but that's fine and now uh, I'm going to uh, attach uh, these ends right now so I mix the resin with the cava seal just just put it in place just just barely to stick it and uh, we'll disassemble the boxes and start cutting the holes so 
Or maybe I just uh, built uh, the backup plate first and then cut the, cut the holes. Well, or maybe same same time the same thing. So we'll see. Not sure if it's straight or not, but uh, looks uh, solid to me. And I mixed uh, two percent of uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, neck. Uh, I believe it will be uh, dry in uh, half an hour, maybe. I will uh, uh, turn on the heat right now, maybe 20 degrees Celsius, and it will be pretty much it. And uh, I will uh, remove this stuff after and keep going. Well, uh, well, you need to wait. It's always a uh, uh, way to find uh, another, you know, task. Let's say sanding <laughs> some surface. So this surface I just re prepared, just turned down uh, um, for installing a sheet of uh, foam. Actually, so this is not insulated. First of all, and the second, I have a uh, standing rig in here goes to the middle of the mast. I believe it's something like storm sail or something like that. I never use it actually. I'm not sure what is this, but anyway, uh, it's good time for uh, tackling this uh, uh, spot as well. So I'm gonna put those uh, sides first, and then and then I figure out what to do with this. But anyway, it's it's just right there. Hmm, by the way, it's all cured, so it's time to disassemble the whole thing. Well, I, I'm, I'm still thinking what to do next and uh, initially I thought maybe I can make another plate uh, core the fiberglass layer, one layer that, that maybe a inch of the uh, foam and then I took uh, this uh, hatch and it feels heavy actually and compare with this uh, little piece, if I add one, let's say one more or whatever, two layers of fiberglass, it will be not that really extremely heavy. But uh, compare with this one, it's, it's quite a lot. So maybe instead of building another layer of uh, cord uh, fiberglass piece, I might just uh, end up with uh, making uh, one. Uh, layer of or whatever two layers of 1708 all around just make one one uh, plate and And just glue it, you know, just cut cut the hole for the for the opening for the uh, door and And just glue it on top and there will be a limiter It's actually no need to be too crazy and the same time. I thought maybe I will use uh, such a uh, hinges, maybe different style, different type, but the same size. So this is actually perfect if I put it just in in our in the edge, not not uh, like this, but just uh, natively like hidden way it, as it's supposed to be. So and maybe just just to make it more reliable and uh, strong, what I can do, I can just uh, drill a hole and insert uh, sort of like. Uh, what do you call it, long, long uh, nut or something as I did with the motor uh, mounting stuff so I just encapsulate this inside and then instead of screws uh, which is just regular screws, I, I will use the threaded screws, machine screws instead and this will be uh, uh, unkillable I would say well yeah maybe that's the best plan
few days uh, behind and uh, this stuff is completely cured uh, both of them and I'm planning to uh, fare this one right now and uh, send it down make it flat but not everywhere just uh, these pieces where I have uh, marked these shy lines of uh, uh, painted opening for the window so I want to make flat actually just a little edge of uh, all around right there and the rest I don't really care I will uh, glue this to the other side of uh, the structure anyway I thought to remove the film from the back, but I'm touching is still too tacky underneath. So probably the, the we have a couple of days of uh, almost freezing temperature here, so it's not really uh, cured probably properly. And and I feel this is too softy now. So maybe I'll uh, keep it in the film right now. Maybe cut the edges and uh, maybe sand this top section once this stuff is cured. Just make it flat and uh, leave it alone. Uh, maybe I'll uh, increase the temperature right now and uh, heat it up a little bit. So it'll be fine. Well, uh, I removed this core on the base all around, so just need to remove this uh, core uh, from the door and do the same for to, to another one uh, thing. And uh, after that I'm gonna mix uh, resin with the Kaba seal with uh, consistency of uh, peanut butter and uh, fill these voids all around and this will be solid structure
so I filled up uh, the gaps all around on the panels on the one, another one and on doors and just waiting until this stuff get cured yeah unfortunately I <laughs> slept too much resin last last shot so a little bit uh, waste so yeah it is what it is well uh, I think uh, it's a timer of uh, right up and uh, thank you for watching if you like this episode uh, please hit thumbs up Subscribe to the channel and leave comments down below. Thank you. Bye.